Your Excellency, Director General of Development Cooperation in Africa Division, Department of Foreign Affairs of Ireland, Your Excellency, Chief of Staff of the Global Fund, Your Excellency, Ambassador of Ireland to Ethiopia, my co-speakers and panelists at this event, whom I thank for your strength and advocacy, our wonderful musical performance of today's event, representatives of government, civil society, and other organizations present, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to join you for this annual lecture in honor of Father Michael Kelly, a wonderful ambassador for Ireland in Zambia over many years, who has dedicated his life to working in solidarity with people living with HIV and AIDS. The theme, Solidarity in the Face of HIV at the Time of Global Crisis, is very timely for two reasons. First, HIV AIDS remains a major cause of morbidity and mortality in Africa. In its UN AIDS 2020 data, UN AIDS reported that hundreds of thousands of people are dying each year of a disease that has multiple effective and relatively inexpensive treatment regimens available. Second, in our response to both HIV and COVID-19 pandemic, in Ethiopia, we have relied on solidarity to minimize the impact of the epidemic and this global pandemic, which is the same for the whole globe. In our COVID-19 response, different stakeholders came together in solidarity to minimize the direct and indirect impact of the pandemic on our society and economy. Community groups, government offices, different ministries at all levels of government and the private sector worked together to respond to the pandemic collectively. Global Solidarity and our partners played a crucial role in providing test kits, PPE, ventilators, and other supplies. And moreover, partners played a major role by establishing a humanitarian air hub in Addis Ababa in order to scale up procurement and distribution of PPE and medical supplies for the COVID response in Africa. Development partners also reprogrammed grants and availed emergency funds in the spirit of global solidarity. Today, we commemorate the 33rd World AIDS Day and pay tribute to the millions of people who have lost their lives and their loved ones due to HIV AIDS and those living with HIV in the backdrop of the unprecedented global pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has challenged and stretched health systems and disrupted the continuation and delivery of essential health services. In Ethiopia, as we work to minimize the impact of COVID-19 by instituting the COVID-19 preparedness and response teams, the Ministry of Health also established a non-COVID-19 team which focused on the delivery of essential health services and critical programs, which continue to deliver essential HIV prevention and treatment services as well. The Minister of Health, in collaboration with stakeholders, was working hard to ensure there is no discontinuation of antiretroviral therapy by providing multi-month dispensing of ARTs, extending working hours, and doing phone follow-ups for missed appointments. Ethiopia's HIV response has achieved immense progress in containing the HIV epidemic and mitigating its impact on public health and human welfare. Our country, in collaboration with development partners, civil society organizations, and the community at large, has recorded tremendous results in the fight against the epidemic. To mention few, as of 2019, the number of new annual infections have been reduced by 46% from the 2010 baseline. The number of AIDS-related diseases have been decreased by 80% from the 2010 baseline. HIV prevalence is reduced to less than 1% from 3% baseline in the late 1990s. From all estimated people living with HIV, 79% know their status, and from all estimated people with HIV, 76% are on ART with 90.3% of viral load suppression. The country has also made significant progress in scaling up HIV testing and counseling services and improving HIV treatment access, driven by the exemption of HIV services from user fees in all public facilities and at community level. In addition, a policy of test and treat regardless of CD4 count was launched in 2017. As of 2018, there were more than 4,000 HIV testing and counseling sites, 1,500 antiretroviral therapy sites, and 3,000 PMCT sites across the country. 
Although the, this progress puts Ethiopia well on the way to achieving the UNAIDS 1990-90 target, there are real concerns that the COVID-19 pandemic could disrupt service progress if we are not resilient. Stopping the COVID-19 epidemic has become a priority and an urgent public health crisis on the global political agenda, putting other health issues on the back burner, delaying programmatic targets. So now more than ever, we need concerted efforts, particularly in identifying people living with HIV and scaling up innovative approaches such as SNS, pre-exposure pre prophylaxis and HIV self-testing and also ensuring that those on treatment are vir virally suppressed and can no longer transmit HIV. To achieve our goal of defeating AIDS, a public health threat by 2030 depends on how we respond to COVID-19. We must unite diverse stakeholders with agreed upon milestones for success, earn the trust of the public through consistent, accurate messaging, mobilize essential financing, and rapidly adapt systems to respond to new and evolving challenges and undertake strategic and result-driven planning. In Africa, 60% of the response to HIV AIDS is mobilized from outside partners and 80% of our medicine is imported. And there has been steady reductions in external financing for the HIV program, which threatens the continuation of critical activities. In Ethiopia, we are working to raise both external and domestic resources to ensure the continuation of HIV services in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have developed a domestic resource mobilization strategy that aligns with the HIV AIDS National Strategic Plan to ensure the sustainability of the HIV response. However, to achieve these ambitious goals, Ethiopia recognizes a continuing need for solidarity to its HIV response and to safeguard an interrupted supply of essential medicine and services to respond to HIV. As this year's World AIDS Day theme calls, and as we enter the last decade of action to end AIDS as a public health threat by 2030, we need solidarity to sustain the hard-won gains and achieve the vision of ending the AIDS epidemic. As we review progress and setbacks, we make a call for increased engagement and support from donors, development partners, civic societies, the private sector, the communities, and at last but most importantly, our frontline health workers to work together to achieve gender equity, access to adequate health care, and ensure continuity of essential health services in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. In conclusion, COVID-19 pandemic has shown us how interconnected and interdependent our world is and how only by working together we are able to tackle the pandemic and stop HIV AIDS from further affecting our populations. I am confident that with solidarity, we will eliminate both HIV AIDS and COVID-19 from our world while building resilient health systems, ensuring our most vulnerable populations have adequate access to quality, life-saving health care. Together, we will build a better world. Thank you.